What's up beautiful people? So welcome back to another video. Today's project, we're talking Aldens. We're gonna be stripping these right down, doing a double leather sole. We're gonna have to cut it from a big, huge leather bend because the size of these are monsters. All right guys, with any further ado, let's get this cracked open and see what we're working with. All right, beautiful people. So we're gonna begin the breakdown process on these Aldens. We're gonna be removing the outer sole, and the mid sole, right down to the welt, get it cracked open and see what we've got going on the inside. We're just gonna take our tool here, just run this along the seam of where the welt and the mid sole connect. Allows us just to get our knife in there. We can pop these stitches out and take this all piece off in one nice go. Okay, so that's all our stitches broken, so this sole should hopefully just peel up quite nice and easy now. Boom, there we have it. Okay, old sole's off. Now for a quick look on the inside. Having a wee look at our welt, it's pretty structurally sound and secure in there. I don't think we're going to have any issues with that at all. It is quite thin on certain areas, which came straight from the factory. There's not much room to stitch, but I think we're going to manage to get through it all right. We've got our three rib steel shank in here. Uh, on the actual sole, we have a nice piece of canvas that's going to go over this. So we're just going to salvage that and put that back on. We're just clean up this cork area. These shoes haven't really been worn that much. The customer doesn't really like the red original wedge sole and is wanting to change it and convert it into a double leather sole so that's why we're doing this job. It did have a lot of life left in it so for those of you who think this is a waste of time it's more of a customization than a repair. So we're going to be removing all this cork, get a nice fresh batch in there and we should be ready to get some soles glued on. Let's do it! Alden do a nice thing with their soles on the inside here, they actually have a nice piece of canvas that sits in between the footbed and all the cork area. I think it's because that actual extra level of padded protection. Uh, the cork seems to stick to it pretty well, which is making it pretty hard to come out, but we're getting there slowly but surely. All right, so we've got a little scratch all here. It's quite a good tool to remove all the old stitches there. So we're just gonna run around the entire shoe, take out all the ones that we've got left in there. The reason to removing all these old stitches it just gives the final result just such a nicer finish. See having double, triple piled up stitches all in the same place. It never looks good. It annoys me when I get in repairs that I'm having to do that have already been repaired before. And they're always covered in stitches. There's like two to three different rows. And it just does two things. It makes it look really, really bad. It also adds and punctures even more holes into the welt, making it weaker and weaker over time. And then essentially the customer is going to have to get a rewelt at some point if they want to continue using those shoes, which just adds a lot of cost back onto the shoe. So in terms of salvaging the shoes, make them last a little bit longer for the customer, this is a really good way of helping that out. Alright guys, so that's our stitches removed and that's our cork removed. Now it's time for the fresh piece of cork. So what we've got here, it's a nice big sheet of cork. I'm going to be just tracing around the shoe here, cutting this out, put it into shape, fit it into the shoe. Then this is a much faster process than you've seen me do in previous videos where I use the, the wet flexifil cork, which takes a long time to dry. It speeds up the process by just using this dry cork. Put it in, sand it flush, ready to go.
All right, so that was about a seven minute wait time instead of a two hour to three hour wait time for the other cork, tiny cork. And we're just gonna pop this, slot this into the cavity that we've got there. Hammer it into place, then we'll sand it on the machine. Okay, first layer of leather is going on. And now for sole number two.
Yeah, things don't always got a plan on these machines. But we'll get there. There's a fun part shown up here. You need to measure the space between our awl and our needle. It's not about pinky thick. You need to. Yep, I think that's good. Test it on a piece of leather first. We're just going to add a little bit of a natural edge dye to these smooth surfaces. What a difference it makes to the final edge finish. Okay. 
before, after. So we'll start off with some brown flashes, some black flashes, put some polishes and creams in there just to get the kind of idea of what I'd like it to be look like. Doesn't really matter how you do it, whether it be in a wood grain effect, it's not as if it's a consistent kind of thing. So just play about with some colours, see how it looks. Now we'll run this on the brushes and get a nice brown on the bottom there. So as always guys, thank you so, so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it here with me. I really appreciate each and every one of you, mad respect for you. So the finished result came out pretty tasty, we've got a good shine, a nice little wood effect that we've done there, double leather sole, bitch to get stitched through, but we managed to get there. And we've cleaned the uppers just a little bit, given a bit of a brush up, and now they're ready to hit the town. Alright guys, as always, thank you so much for checking the videos out. You guys are legends, it's in every one of you. Mad respect for you. I'm Cobber G, I'm doing new videos all the time, so don't forget to hit that subscribe, drop me a like, hit me up a comment below, let you know what you think about this end result. Until next time, I'll be Cobber G, you've been legends. Peace out guys.